Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here. Today we are going to be discussing lesson number six of my thyroid beginner series, and we're going to be talking about something that I call the thyroid weight gain paradox. And I'm going to get into that a little bit if you don't understand it, so just sit tight. Uh, but I want to start by just talking about the connection between your thyroid and weight. And this is something that really isn't controversial. Um, and what I mean by that is, Doctors know, and, and so do patients, that one of the symptoms of low thyroid function is weight gain. And we can attribute that weight gain to probably, uh, I would say, many things. But the most important is the fact that T3 thyroid hormone, and remember, we've discussed what T3 is in previous lessons. So if you're unfamiliar, you can go back and watch those. But it's the connection between T3 and your metabolism. So we know that T3 thyroid hormone, which is the active thyroid hormone, controls about 60% of your metabolism. And remember, uh, if you, well, or maybe you don't know this, but your metabolism is responsible for maintaining your weight because your metabolism is the thing that burns the majority of your calories. So at, let's say, uh, metabolism responsible for maybe about 80% of the calories that you burn each day. All right. So on a 2000 calorie diet, if that's how much, um, let's say your body burns 2000 calories per day, and that includes with exercise, about 80% of that will be from this metabolism. So if you damage your metabolism in any way because of you have low thyroid function or any other reason, that metabolism is going to be reduced and you're going to be burning less calories on a day to day basis. That same thing happens when you have hypothyroidism. So as thyroid function declines, weight generally increases. This is very well known. But here's the paradox. The paradox is, why don't thyroid patients who gain weight because they have low thyroid function lose that weight when they start taking thyroid medication? So you have this, this weird situation in which doctors know and they appreciate the fact that hypothyroidism or low thyroid function leads to weight gain, but they don't appreciate or don't recognize the fact that taking thyroid medication to replace the thyroid hormone that your body isn't able to produce does not result in weight loss. So you have to ask yourself, why not? What's the problem? Because conventional doctors believe, and this kind of goes back to the thyroid controversy that I discussed previously, but a conventional doctor believes that your thyroid is considered normal if your TSH is normal. And yet those who have a normal TSH tend to still experience the symptoms of hypothyroidism, including weight gain, right? So there, there's the problem. There's the paradox. You can't, a doctor can't have it both ways. Either they need to suggest that low thyroid function leads to weight gain, um, and therefore thyroid medication should lead to weight loss, which means that they're dosing inappropriately, or you can't, or you have to say that low thyroid function isn't the cause of weight gain initially. You can't have it both ways there. And that's what I'm calling the paradox. But it doesn't have to be that way. I think this results from flawed um, logic as it relates to thyroid management because if you go back to previous videos like that con thyroid controversy, you'll, you'll understand and you'll know that if you treat based off the, solely the TSH, it leaves uh, a lot of problems as it relates to free thyroid hormones in the body. So we know from studies that if you take two groups of people, those who have low thyroid function and those who are normal, if you give those with low thyroid function thyroid medication, they still don't have the same levels of T3 and T4 as healthy adults do. So there's definitely a problem with the way that we treat. And one of the benefits to, or one of the, one of the ways that you can approach this problem is by using different medication. And we'll talk about that in just a second talk about the treatment. But I want to focus on why do thyroid patients suffer from weight gain to begin with? Because it's obviously more than just calories. And I've been seeing a trend recently in some of the news and some of the ads on YouTube and things like this when, when I'm just cruising around. And it seems that general people are, are warming up to the idea that weight gain is more than just calories in minus calories out. And if you've been following anything that I've been uh, producing or writing about, you know that um, I strongly believe that that's the case. I think the majority of weight weight gain that occurs is not a result of the amount of calories that you eat, but more a result of hormone imbalances. And that's especially true 
about thyroid function because we know that you can eat the same amount of calories, but if you have low thyroid function, you're simply going to gain weight because your metabolism is suffering from that low thyroid. So you have to realize right off the bat that the reason thyroid patients gain weight is not because of the amount of food that they're putting in their body. It's because of the imbalance of hormones that they have. All right, so that's that's pretty simple, and um, but but it's something you need to understand. Now, one of the issues that thyroid patients face is that they often, well, we know that, well, at least I know because I've treated so many patients that many of them suffer from weight gain. All right, and that's because of the all of the reasons we talked about before. It's because um, there's an underappreciation for for how the thyroid functions. There's mismanagement, uh, and then there's flawed logic as it relates to how do you lose weight. And so what patients do, especially patients with, with thyroid issues, is they restrict their calories because they're already struggling with weight and their doctor isn't willing to change their medication. So they say, well, what else can I do? All right, I'll reduce my calories. But the problem is, as you reduce your calories, that that caloric restrict or caloric restriction leads to metabolic damage and further thyroid damage, and we, that happens because of the way that your body alters thyroid, the the way that you uh, your body metabolizes thyroid hormones. And I talked about that in my previous video about thyroid conversion, so you can go back and look at that. But briefly, the more you restrict your calories, the more damage your metabolism comes, and the higher your reverse T3 gets and the lower your free T3 gets. And so what this sets up is this cycle where patients with low thyroid continually reduce their calories over and over and over again. And they may get to the point where they're eating a thousand calories per day just to maintain their weight. And you absolutely want to avoid this trap. So if you get into that trap, it's really hard to dig yourself out. And I know uh, from treating a lot of patients that that is the case. So you want to avoid that because Fixing metabolic damage and, and thyroid damage from calorie restriction is very difficult. It's not impossible, but it is very difficult. So what are you supposed to do if you have weight gain and you're a thyroid patient? One of the most important things is to focus less on the TSH as a marker of thyroid function in your body and more on T3, both free T3 and total T3. So that's the number one thing. You want to focus on T3 and total T3 because those are the most um, accurate measurements of thyroid function in your body. And they're more closely co correlated with the ability to lose weight in thi among thyroid patients. The next thing you want to do is try, if you can, to switch up your medications. And what that means is try to get away from using uh, level thyroxine and Synthroid and look into other medications, either adding T3 such as lyothyronine or switching to natural desiccated thyroid or some combination of T4 and T3. The next thing you'll want to do is look at other hormones. So I say you want to avoid this, this uh, concept that I call thyroid tunnel vision. And this is a condition that a lot of patients have, and I think in part because they're mostly ignored by their doctors. But what they do is they believe that every single problem that they have is related to their thyroid. And that's generally not the case. Um, one of the things that I do when I, when I see patients is I try and figure out what, what is the main issue here. And oftentimes, I would say frequently, the thyroid is secondary to other issues. And if you treat those other issues, the thyroid tends to improve. So avoid getting thyroid tunnel vision and look at other hormones. So hormones such as leptin, insulin, your sex hormones, so estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, all of these things also influence your weight. Remember, it's more about hormones, not your calories. However, the type of calories that you put in your body does influence these hormones. So it can kind of get, uh, it can kind of go both ways there. But this is sort of the best way that I've found to help thyroid patients lose weight. And it's been very effective. So I have many case studies um, on my website that you can look through if, you, if you'd like about patients that have been able to lose weight utilizing this sort of strategy here. Um, and that's, that's where I'd like to leave this lesson today. So if you have any questions as it relates to weight or your thyroid or just anything related to um, your condition, let me know, leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to get to them. It may take me a little bit, but I'll, but I'll get there eventually. And so that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.